As is often said, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. The only skill needed as a subject is to describe all images that flow through your mind without judgment. Dr. Newton describes how when subjects are in a trance, their brain waves slow from the beta wake state down past the meditative alpha state and into the theta range. Theta is hypnosis, not sleep, which is the delta stage. In theta trances, the conscious mind has access to all memory channels. It sees pictures and hears dialogues with the unconscious mind as literal observations. Subjects cannot lie, but may misinterpret what they see in the unconscious mind. And if the subjects were not truly in a trance and answering questions based on preconceived ideas or fantasy, they would be rife with contradictions and information certainly wouldn't be consistent across subjects. Cannon and Newton both found their subjects use similar words and graphic descriptions when describing soul experiences. Both agree that the spirit world, the world behind the veil of amnesia, is very difficult to express in limited human language. I suspect this has been a challenge for thousands of years, resulting in the many cryptic and metaphorical prophecies. Cannon and Newton's respective global organizations of practitioners are completely independent and can be thought of as two competing options for someone seeking subconscious healing and spiritual insights. To date, the Michael Newton Institute has record of over 55,000 Life Between Lives sessions, the method offered in over 40 countries in 25 languages by hundreds of trained facilitators. At the same time, over 100,000 students for more than 117 countries have taken Dolores Cannon's QHHT courses, each performing numerous sessions. While it was clear for many years that hypnosis could reveal glimpses of apparent past lives, the Newton Cannon era took hypnotherapy much, much further. But how did they get started? Dr. Michael Newton was a counselor and certified master hypnotherapist. He specialized in behavior modifications for the treatment of psychological disorders. Like Roberts and Selig, he was a spiritual skeptic until he stumbled upon the therapeutic benefits of exploring past lives, and especially the interlife memories of his patients. Spiritual knowledge first came to him in the late 1960s. Dr. Newton regressed a hypnotherapy client who was seeking the source of his shoulder pain. Newton was shocked when the subject graphically described a bayonet injury in the World War I Battle of Somme as the source. Newton later confirmed the numerous details provided with keepers of war records in London. Later, Dr. Newton regressed a depression patient to her root cause and was told that she had to leave her soul group behind to learn independence during her next incarnation, which is her current life. These experiences opened the door for him to explore the therapeutic benefits of such interlife memories. While regressing his clients, he discovered that it's possible to get descriptions of the spirit world from the perspective of his subjects' superconscious minds. We'll explore those findings in depth, but the main themes were the earth is like a schoolhouse for soul development, and a notoriously challenging one at that. There's a common series of steps between the time of death and the beginning of the next birth, the so-called interlife. Our significant life challenges are planned by us in consultation with our guides and a council of elders. And hypnotherapy lets us relive these memories for guidance and for healing. Dr. Newton wrote three books summarizing his life between lives, regression techniques, and findings. The first book covers sessions with 7,000 people over 10 years, and the second covers another several thousand and new topics. I personally underwent the hypnosis approaches developed by both Michael Newton and Dolores Cannon. While different visualization techniques were used in each, I didn't notice any significant differences from the client perspective. The Michael Newton approach makes use of a series of techniques to bring us into total relaxation and the theta brainwaves. Visualize gradually moving back in time, such as walking down a staircase, where each step represents a year of our life. Get to one year, then six months, three months, then in the womb, then in a hallway where each door represents one lifetime. Open a door that feels important and describe what you see. When ready, fast forward to the death scene of that life, using various techniques to help us feel safe. 
after the death scene, explore the interlife memories. This includes illuminating conversations with guides, life reviews, planning discussions, and other activities we'll discuss soon. Next, let's meet our final primary spiritual information source, Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon was a Christian who attended church and taught Sunday school. Like Dr. Newton, she didn't believe in reincarnation or seek any spiritual insights when she learned hypnosis from her therapist husband. Then, in 1968, she and her husband discovered a subject could be regressed beyond their most recent birth to recall multiple past lives. She continuously refined her approach, conducting many thousands of sessions throughout the rest of her life. Cannon discovered more and more esoteric knowledge from the subconscious minds, or SC, of her subjects, and from other spiritual, physical, and even alien beings who spoke directly to her through her subjects. She even had entities speak to her through more than one client, resuming conversations across people who didn't know each other. Her approach uses different visualizations, such as riding on a cloud to an important place. She had less emphasis on the past lives and more on bringing forth the higher self or subconscious for answers. But those are subtle differences, and her conclusions overlapped with Seth, Casey, and Dr. Newton in particular. Cannon wrote 19 books, with others being published posthumously. They cover numerous metaphysical concepts, including that past lives can explain lessons and karmic ties that have an effect on our present life. The subconscious mind can heal if asked, sometimes with miraculous seeming results. The subconscious can teach us about life's purpose, the post-death process, and even the mechanics of the universe. She also delves very deeply into historical figures such as Jesus and Nostradamus and explains extraterrestrials, the origin of life on Earth, and details of numerous alien and spiritual civilizations. <laughs>